So when I redid the dining room window, uh, the, it's a little bit smaller than the original, so I had to build out the wall. And I knew I was going to have to redo the drywall as well, but I didn't realize it was a double layer of drywall on this wall. And when I pulled out the first, there was a bunch of mold in between the, the two sheets of drywall, so I had to tear it all out. Um, at the same time, um, in the first video when I talked about my utilities being three to five hundred dollars a month, that was really based off of how hot it was and the air conditioning um, because of all the power that air conditioning sucks. But um, when we got here, everybody was talking about evaporative coolers and we would never really knew what those were or, or even heard of them. Um, but what it is is it's a pump that pumps water to the top and it drips down a medium and then there's just a fan that sucks the air through that medium which causes the water to evaporate which cools the air. Um, when we first heard this we are like I don't know how good that's going to work. So we bought one and we installed it in the bedroom window and it's rated at 1600 square feet and it actually we were surprised at how well it worked. Um, this is about a 1250 and we, even with the fan on low um, maximum I think we've had it up to full a couple times but when it was 90 out it kept the house around 70 which is perfect for us um, the main negative is it doesn't have a thermostat so if it's turned on and you go into town and it gets cold cold out it'll just keep cooling the house and you'll come home and it'll be like 60 degrees in here um, so I have to figure out something for that but the fact that we like it I'm gonna mount it in the wall behind me in the dining room and it will cool the house from here instead of in a bedroom window Cords in the window. Okay. Let me come in and do the inside ones. Yes. 